Welcome back to our video module on mechanics and materials. Thus far, we've been looking a lot at stress and corresponding strain. Today, I'd like to take a look at the problem in front of you. We have two steel plates, and in between the two is some sort of springy material. And we're going to apply a force to the top plate and the bottom plate. I want to know what happens. Today, we're going to introduce shear strain and try to understand it at an intuitive level. First, let's redraw this problem, looking at it from the side. We can imagine we have our two steel plates. In between, we have our springy material. And then we're going to apply our forces, our applied forces, one going in this direction, the other going in this direction. And just to make sure that weird things don't happen, it doesn't rotate, we're going to apply some sort of moment here. What can we expect to happen? Well, the steel plates, they're not going to really deform, but rather the springy material, it's going to shear at an angle. Now, it's going to look like this. So the top plate, it's going to deform in this direction, but it's going to deform because of this angle right here. So if we wanted to redraw where the plate goes, it'd be where the green is. And in fact, what we'd see is we'd see some sort of angle subtended by the springy material. How do we understand this? Let's revisit our stress. We take a particle, we apply some sort of stress, we'll say in the x direction, and then we come across you know, some relationship between our stress equals our Young's modulus times our strain. So how might we think of this from a shear perspective? Let's go ahead and remember what we did with our shear stresses. We have you know, some sort of stress in this direction, some sort of stress in this direction, just like this, and we have some sort of shear stress. The question is, is there a corresponding equation that governs the shear stress with the shear strain, which probably would look something like this? And the answer is yes. Let's redraw our problem below to try to understand it better. We have some particle. How's it going to twist? We'll review this problem right here. It's the same idea. The shear it's going to experience is in purple. And this angle, one can imagine that the particle angle and this total angle are going to be the same, assuming that these forces incur this given shear. And we define the relationship between the stress and the strain for shear by saying that the shear stress equals g, or the shear modulus, times gamma, which is the angle subtended due to the shear. So in summary, shear strain and shear stress are related in very similar ways to axial stress and axial strain. You just have to cock your head a little bit. Finally, one more note. Assuming an x, y coordinate frame, so the angle or the shear is moving in this direction, we say that the strain is positive. 